guys welcome back to my channel i know that technically i already posted a video at the beginning of the year i don't think that counted as my first video of the year because that was supposed to be from november and i didn't end up posting it till january that video is going to stay up but that doesn't count as the first video of the year this is the first video of the year point is happy 2024 happy new year how are you guys doing i'm doing as great as can be there's a lot going on and i'm really happy that it's a new year because it's just like everything feels like super new super good i think from my mentality it really is just the best opportunity for like a brand new start because it's a brand new year so it like it makes sense in my mind you know what i mean i can't just like start a new me on a random tuesday in march you know what i mean i just can't so new year new me <laughs> i want to reflect on this past year i want to see if there's anything new i could do this year what i'm going to continue what i'm not going to do anymore see if there's anything that i like completely failed on you know what i mean I have here with me, I have my resolutions and my goals from last year, so we're gonna go over those. Last year I told myself I wanted to bake more. Now, I love baking. It really is like a hobby passion project of mine. I love it so much. But the thing about me is that if I'm not in a good mood to bake, it's not gonna come out good. Every single time without fail, if I try to do something while I'm mad or sad, it just doesn't come out right. Like I have to be in a happy, good mood. But I hope that this year is better for that. <laughs> I'm really happy because I feel like I did get to bake a lot of things. I made like hundreds at this point. Tres leches cupcakes. I also got to bake something for every single birthday for my siblings. I did cake pops for my sister. I did ice cream cake for my brother. And a failed Pinterest cake for my sister. <laughs> Even though it was like a failed Pinterest attempt. But it was cute nonetheless. Like the idea was there. And you knew what I was trying to do. So I liked it. I think it was cute. So I all in all think I succeeded in baking more. The next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to paint more things. This past year was very hard for me in terms of creating art for a multitude of reasons. But I do want to let you know that I did try to do some things. I didn't record like anything really. I think that this year I made the most paintings that I'm proud of. Even though I didn't paint more, the ones that I did do it was like really good for me. So it was like a quality over quantity thing for me. So I think I succeeded in that. Another thing that I wanted to do this year was I wanted to take YouTube and content creation a lot more seriously. And I think I did. Well, I think that in terms of the past few years that I've like tried, I think I did a lot better. So I'm really proud of myself actually. I think I did do more. Another thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to work out more. Now, unfortunately, I don't really have the time to like go to a gym. You no, know, people say they don't have the time for things to a point like I don't mean that I don't have time but it kind of really is that I don't have time. I don't have my my own car either so taking the time to go to a physical gym was a lot harder than trying to do workouts at home. It's hard to stay motivated in that and anybody who tries to work out at home like they know it's hard. It sucks sometimes especially like I need something clean before I can do this for myself. It's like a whole process I have to go through and I keep fighting myself on it. So it's completely my fault. So I did not get to work out more and I actually gained a little bit of weight, but we're not gonna talk about that. So I did kind of fail working out this past year. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanted to do this past year is I wanted to get more in touch with my religion. And that's like a very personal thing for me. The reason I bring it up is because it's in my vision board and I wanna show you guys my vision board. So I feel like I did get more in touch. Just I feel like I have more of a personal connection, if that makes sense. Not as much as I wanted to, I think good enough. Things that like I didn't expect or did wasn't gonna write down or anything. Things are just like things that happened. Okay, one of my high points this year was going to Universal and Disneyland in the same weekend. I love Universal and I love Disneyland. And going to both of those was like, it was cool. It was really cool. I miss going to Universal and I miss going to Disneyland and I had a lot of fun. Now you all probably know this because I brought it up like 30 times already. But at Disneyland, I did get engaged this past year, so that was a lot of fun. And I'm actually married at this point. I'm like, I have the two bands. I'm married now. I have a husband now. I'm a wife. And even though it wasn't last year, I wanted to bring it up anyways because, you know, you're gonna see it. You're gonna know. So there it is. You're welcome. And then the last thing that happened this past year was that I started posting on Pinterest and surprisingly, it's been going kind of good. My most popular one right now, I don't remember how to say it, the Oxeye one. This one, yeah. That one's been my most popular like pin. I love Pinterest. So I'm really glad that the things that I post a lot of people like, so yeah. 
Okay, and now my new resolutions for the year. I think that for me personally, I don't want to like make new ones. I think that I want to keep a lot of the ones that I already had. Keep doing the things that I like doing. I don't want to implement too many new things, but just like continue the things that I needed to continue on. You know what I mean? Last year I got to bake a lot of things, but this year I want to start baking things like from scratch. I've never been a from scratch person very much because it's just like, it's really scary because you have to buy a lot of the ingredients and I never had the time and the space to be able to do all those things, I wanna bake and cook more things. Okay, I'm running out of storage here, so I gotta wrap this up a little bit. My resolutions for the year is I wanna be able to bake more, bake more specifically from scratch. I really wanna be able to do that this year. I wanna be able to paint more things. I think they're gonna be like last year, like quality over quantity. I wanna be able to work out. I wanna go to like a physical gym, but also that's like really scary. And I don't like people. And I have this fear that everyone's looking at me and judging me all the time. So I'd rather not do that. I don't know, maybe like actually like self-discipline actually to be able to work out at home. Maybe that would be better. I also want to be able to read more. I don't read like at all. I don't read books because I like to watch things. And I know that's a bit of a problem, but I don't know. I just, I like watching things. I'm a visual person. I like to watch things. So that's, that's me. I'm hoping that I can read more, but I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna end up watching every single One Piece episode. So I don't know. And to get a little bit more specific with my resolutions, my goals for YouTube is I want to get a video once every two weeks. I want to be able to get to that point. In every other week in between that, I want to be able to post a short. So it's like one week video, one week short, one week video, one week short. That's like the goal. You know what I mean? And by the end of the year, I want to be like at least halfway to be able to get monetized here on YouTube. I think that that would be a lot of fun. I think that that would be really great. And I think it's doable if I like try. It's all about me, my mentality. I have to like stop fighting myself on everything. And then for my artist resolutions, I wanna be able to begin the process of making an online shop. I know that that's gonna be super hard. I kinda like thought about it in the past and I'm like, oh, that might be fun. But I think that I kind of want to take it seriously because there's so many things that I want to do. So I want to begin that process this year. In terms of how much art I want to make, I want to be able to make at least five canvas paintings that are like kind of original, you know what I mean? And I really want to get into digital art this year. Now I think it looks really cute and there's a lot of things that I'm really inspired by. So I really want to do that. So those are my goals for the year. I think that this can be very, very attainable if I apply myself. Now that's gonna be really hard. It's a lot easier said than done because I've been saying that every single year, every single day for the past like 10 years at this point, honestly. I just hope that this year is the year that I do things. Something that I've been seeing in all these in all these New Year's resolution videos is that people will set up reminders on their phone for like a couple months ahead to like check in on their goals and everything. I'm gonna do once a month goals on my phone and I think that that's gonna be a lot easier for me to just like check in with myself and make sure like stay on top of it. So those are like when my assignments are due basically in my head. So that's that's the plan for that. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to make a brand new vision board because the vision board that I have right now, I love it. And I kind of want to keep that same vibe for this next year. What I have heard is that you kind of want to dim it down a little bit. So not so many pictures. So I'm going to redo that right now. This is the before and this is the after. It's going to be my new laptop wallpaper. I have the old one right now and I'm going to switch it out for the new one. I think I'm really happy with the way that I see this new year going. I have a lot of like really, really big dreams, but I can't achieve that at all if I have no like success in my general day-to-day -day life. You know what I mean? I believe in myself and I know that I can make a lot of these things come true for myself. I'm really excited and I can't wait to bring you guys along this journey. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys have been set for this new year. I will see you guys in the next video. It will get done. I promise I can do that. I can do that. I'm going to be applying myself this year. We are taking accountability. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Happy new year. If you want to, if you made it this far and you want to, please comment pink bow emoji because that's been a trend lately and I love that trend. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.